like Bebe's kids. We don't <laughs> die, we multiply. <laughs> you know what? My brother and I talked about Bebe's kids all the time. We saw that commercial when we were kids. So finally he got back from Afghanistan, bought this big ass TV, and like we just broed out in our place, and Bebe's kids was on Netflix, <laughs> and we finally watched it, and not really sure what all the hype would have like. It was Tone, like, Tone Woke was about the voice of the baby. About 15 years we had built up like watching Bebe's kids. Well, it all stems from the comedian Chris yes. Robbins. Like Fairly his enough. his whole... Oh, we Wikipedia did what we watched it. The, the whole stand-up, if you're as old as I am, which <coughs> yeah. like to give me shit about. He's you are old. So... I it was a funny no, one. I I remembers when the uh, Indianapolis Colts were the Baltimore Colts. That's right. For all other three people that watched yeah, this yeah. and realized he drove that a time. moving truck yeah. for that night. Alex. He remembers when the L.A. Dodgers. I can't open it. Brooklyn Dodgers. Hey, now, not that old. He remembers a fucking. I remember when MTV actually played music. And it was oh, a I remember Henry that. Forrester. Too, you wrote the article about the. Never mind. I was getting a little deep. Shut up. Just for kicks, first peanut butter. And it was jelly friends time. with Jesus. Hey. What? JFK, PBJT. <laughs> Don't make me go teach your voice. Sorry. Flick the lights on. Covering up your so, tattoo, yeah. George. So, peanut butter jelly time oh, oh, nice. versus just for kicks in the 7.30 hour. Uh, I talked about PB&J a lot uh, last time. I was impressed with their uh, performance against us up until that last inning. You know, they really have some solid fundamentals. I think they're a good team. Uh, they got great leadership with uh, Brent and Christina Obershaw. Um, but with that said, JFK, man, they're a juggernaut, man. These guys are they're just on fire. Uh, they're giving up less than one run a game. Uh, peanut, peanut butter and jelly time, as good as they are, and I am impressed with them, I don't see how they're going to score against JFK. I think this will be... And also, I think they're going to be challenged by the JFK offense. I think this will be a seven nothing win for just for kicks. So I'll give six and a half to one. I was going to say eight one. I think PBJ pushes one across late when the top comes back around. Uh, maybe JFK switching some things up, trying things. Not saying that's the only way they'll score on them, but yeah. I see they got they got talent around there. But uh, like you said, JFK will put up runs. I don't know, man. I don't see see. We're, uh, one thing I noticed about JFK on. Uh, Wednesday was that they don't switch things up dramatically. Like they stay pretty su fundamental. Like by switching it up, they put Jeremiah in at pitcher, but they still had Dom in at charger. They still had Eric in at catcher. Like and they were romping on Chubby Gangsters twelve nothing. They had that game in hand, and they didn't switch around any parts there. So I see them just focused, man. I think they're just. You know, they're, they're in there. I think they're going for the record for uh, runs against per game. I like it. I like it. I like statistical juggernauts. I don't believe when, even if you're a statistical juggernaut, oh, let's lay it down a couple innings and uh, work on some things. Hell no. Go for the kill, son. The only team to be all games played in the win column at 7 0 and 0. So I see Justin Kitts really laying it on to PB and J. I got it 9 0. All right. So 8.5. Yeah, I'm okay with that, man. It's 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 hard because I am impressed with peanut butter and jelly. Like I am I, too. I think they're a good, solid team. But JFK is just. I, I've seen the way PBJ plays offense, and I feel like the way they play offense, the defense or JFK is going to be way too much for them. I don't. I, I mean, you really got to get a kick in at one percent of that field that's not covered, which is really hard to find. All right, so 5 o'clockers and Chubby Gangster's second game of the 7.30 hour. Um, sort of switching opponents there. JFK now getting PBJ, and then 5 o'clockers get Chubby Gangster's, who JFK had last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chubby Gangster's, are, uh, they're not a bad team either. Um, JFK, they ran into the buzzsaw last week, but uh, Chubby Gangster's... Uh, they live and die by the walk-off. <laughs> Obviously, last week was the exception to that. Yeah. They, they, you know, that game wasn't close. But uh, I saw, I saw the pieces there. Offensively, I don't think that they're going to be able to penetrate our defense, uh, or they'll, they'll struggle to do so. So I feel pretty confident going into this game. Um, you know, just with the, there's not a lot of bunters on Chevy Gangsters. 
they kick away a lot, which is probably for the best uh, for them. But our offense is solid. Our, you know, if they do try and bump Gene and Roger, they pretty much have things covered. I think uh, I like our chances going into this game. So. Yeah, I think I'll let you guys hit the line. Well, I really think the best way to attack your five o'clock or team is to get the balls in the, in the outfield or in the in the mid range, not to bunt with that defense you got there. If you have a couple people that are speedy on Chubby Gangsters, which is, uh, you know, not in abundance, uh, I would suggest there are Chubby yeah. Gangsters. I would I would suggest <laughs> doing a lot of line drives and trying to hit those gaps. Some of those Where are gonna come. For this game, I don't know, man. It's really tough. Yeah, but you would cut me off before I told you where the gap was. But chubby gangsters, I can see them. This is between first and third. Yeah, well, and then I clarify later. Like, that's that's near here or there. Five o'clockers, just too much offense for the chubby gangsters to hold down. I see you guys putting up about six to seven runs. It's gonna be like a nice little two run per inning type showing. And uh, Chubby Gangster so is going to squeak by one, maybe two. I got this being an 8-1, an 8-2 eight, eight, victory for five o'clockers. Right. I'll go with the 8-1. Six and a half or seven. Let's keep it half. Let's do six and a half. Are... I like, I'll, I'll, yeah. If there's one thing that Brent taught me a long time ago when, when doing gambling lines is always like the halves. It gets people guessing. I don't like to give away free beer. Heard that? Wentworth <laughs> Casino. That's right, Wentworth Casino. I don't like to give away. Has anybody beers. gotten beer at all yet? Not nope. this season. Wow. We're Dang. stymieing. Them. That means that our lines are actually pretty fucking good. Not even, not even the great Bundy, uh, who He's just given up. Bundy is like Jimmy the Greek. Uh, <laughs> he he he's done it like three times, which it's not like. It's an easy thing to do because it's like you pretty much. It's a big to, parlay. Yeah, you have to get an eighteen parlay. The win, the win, the pitcher, the pitcher. So um, it's not an easy thing to do, but Bundy's done it like three times in the past, but no one's done it this season, to my knowledge. Right, I'll, I'll extend this week. Seven of nine, one beer. Oh, lowering it down a notch. Oh, that's not nine. a pitcher, but a beer. Yes, a okay. beer. From me. A big beer. For seven of nine. And Jer Jeremy Edge would have got it then. <laughs> well, that was last week. Well, yeah. This week. Yeah. This week. Uh, then we got Rome Spring and Wasted Talent. Uh, last game, 7.30 hour. Mr. Wellbrock, hit me with the horns, homie. I just got to say is that I hope that we have ample refing situations for this because the Foot Snipers will be refing this game. I repeat, the Foot Snipers will be refing this game. So <laughs> please show up so I don't have to ref my own team. And we should do that every week. Just so yeah. the <laughs> snipers are scheduled to ref that. Foot snipers, reminder, you're refing at 7.30 on field, field three. three. It's an easy game to ref. And by easy, Why? because we're going to lay the smack it down. I expect nothing less than a double-digit output from our offense. Uh, we had eight against uh, new kickheads in three innings, so I expect to get to that double-digit hump to knock down this run differential that just looks so terrible on our record. Um, I see Wasted Town coming out there, bring a little bit of energy coming in, uh, you know, get a little swag in there. It is turtle next season. It is turtle next season. It's getting a little cold around there. Appropriate to wear a little appropriate. And they had a nice showing against Pitch Please, like Brad Galt said. That was one of the best games they played. Hopefully they can build up on that for y'all's sake, not for my sake. Um, but, yeah, I, I see I see this being, you know, a, a double-digit output for Rome Spring. Not so fast, my friend. I see this being a 0-0 zero, zero tie because I don't respect either team. <laughs> Just kidding. I do respect you guys. I know you do. I respect Wasted Talent as people, as kickball players. They had a better showing against Pitch Please, like you said. Uh, Rumspringer's hungry, man. You guys got that monkey off your back. You got a big win. 8-3. Uh, I think you're going to score um, 27 runs against uh, <laughs> Wasted Talent. How many Wasted Talent score? Zero. Okay. That's what we got. No, no, they'll get one. They'll get one. 27 to 1, six. so 26 and a half. 26 and a half. 
I'll go with 26 and a half. My lines just get bigger and bigger. <laughs> and no. You're talking seven of nine picks and a 26 and a half line right there. I mean, if All you right. get free beer, then whatever. 13 and a half. 13 right. and a half. Okay. That's All fair. Right. That's fair. All right. A zero, zero. I think it's sporting. We'll be back. <laughs> 8.30 games. Pick them. We'll be previewed. <laughs> For all. Oh, it's blinking red. Yeah, it always does. I give up. Ah. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.